Hey guys, and welcome back to more Summoner's War. It's been a productive day here in the kingdom. Um, we started with some more special dungeons here. Don't think there's any new ones. No. So, we've just been keeping our eye on it because we've been working on getting a, a light Inogami, which is super good. Um, this expires in 8 minutes. I've been purchasing crazy amounts of runes. And that's what we're going to do here, is upgrade a couple of wounds. I have to move this sucker over down there. And that's going to want to come down and be a jerk. But let's power up this rune. I'm not really too worried about it getting to six, because it's not a very good rune. I more got it, because I was tired of not having focus on her. I just couldn't find a good six slot rune for her, so. I ended up buying this one. I decided defense wasn't the end of the world. It's better than, like, resistant. Getting, like, a resist. Well, I guess I'm not going to get a percent, but it's fine. So then we. I think these are all pretty much leveled, aren't they? Or did I add one of these? Nope, those are all good. What's this one's deal? Why is it only level three? Not sure. Because, like, this one's. But. We'll leave that one. We've got a lot of money to take stuff from 3 to 6. So, these are all 6. Did I get you any new runes? No, did not. How about you? I don't think you got any new runes. Nope, those are all old runes. I actually put... So, Konamiya had no runes at all. And I found this legendary guard room. It has 4 percentage substats. And then... It's got this one. It has defense critical, but it has quite a bit of HP. So I thought I'd grab it. So the only thing that sucks about it is a, a six slot rune with. So that's kind of sucks about it, but. I just needed runes for him, so. Like, this is a four-slot defense rune. Could have put that in instead, actually. Because this is a bad rune because it's in the sixth slot, but we can swap that out later as well. I never realized that till just now. <laughs> Why would buy a HP rune for the sixth slot? I don't know. Or maybe I got it. Actually, more likely, what happened is I probably got it from running Talmor Desert. Because I think Talmor Desert gives you guard runes. That would make sense. That's why I probably have it. It's because I got it from Talmor Desert. But we could even put this rune in as well. May as well. Because there's no real point having these creatures unruned if you have good runes. I always say there's no point in putting crappy runes into a creature, but if it's a decent rune, may as well. So, just get these three for now. Did I get anything for Seth? Uh, yeah, I did, but they're all level. I think that's probably all of my runes. Oh, Ramagos might have gotten a rune. Did he? Uh, I probably got this one, but I already leveled it. But So that's mostly all that. So, Megan's complete. Really happy about that. And I think everybody else is still waiting on stuff. When I get another room for Magic Knight, he's going to be awesome. Um, and then, need Blade Room there. He needs another Blade Room and four... And four fatal runes. I want to ruin those samurais the same. And yeah, Siphon, I'm not really ruining. Is there any like random runes I can get Siphon? Well. It's actually not that bad of a swift rune. Not a great one, but. It's a speed, uh, speed blade. I don't know who would use a speed blade room, but keep that around as well. It has speed, so 
Anything with speed could be good. So, what was that? Is there a message? No? I thought there was an orange looking message, but probably just crazy. Still hasn't refreshed. Another three minutes. No problemo. So, I actually kind of reorganized the island so it would look a little bit better. So, just move the items around so they look better to the eye. So, that's the only other real thing I did there. We can to battle and get to the meat and potatoes of the episode. Let's move that back up there. We're going to work more on our side quests. Or not really side quests, but I guess the campaign you'd call it. That's just my farming Talmar Desert with those guys. So, so we're looking for wind and fire creatures. I don't really have any good fire creatures because um, they work the fire, but I guess the boss is going to be wind. So a lot of reapers here. So probably going to have a lot of status effects. So No, I guess wind and reapers don't really have too many status effects. Could I move if the enemy dies? Okay. Okay. So, yep. Some stuff. We're definitely going to want to take someone to buff up that awesome character. As well as give her some extra turns and clear negative effects. Take Megan. And the lights. Wind Samurai. I think that's good. We have no one with a leader skill, so we will just start the battle. If I could awaken my magic knight, he is a really good leader skill, but I'm not happy with my ability to farm high essences right now. So what do we got? Let's see if we can just clear off all of them. Strengthening. Do damage to the guy who has the least, because it just killed him anyway. Um, do I want to use research? Not really. We can kill these guys on our own and save that ability for the next time. Have our attack there, because he can just kill him easily. Okay, so now we got another shatter. This is pretty sweet. Um. Because we can just attack him. And let's resurge him. And stuns the enemy for one turn. Well, I'm sure it's going to kill him. Because it does 12,000 damage. Ah, oh, poor little birdie. And finish him off. Perfect. This character is so powerful. I guess I should have actually saved it for the boss. I wasn't really thinking. The boss's level can give me trouble without this powerful, powerful creature. But, can't go back now. Um, we can just heal. Because he seems to be the one taking all the flak. Rapture. Because they didn't use, need to use such a powerful ability on a character that's just about to die, but... That's fine. Create a swift wolf to clear them off. Perfect. Will rune. That's actually a pretty good amount. Do we have another? Looking for an, like oh, another wind creature I can take into this dungeon, but I think this will be fine. He does. Yeah, all enemies. So 
taking my Konami out is really good. That's why I gave her those guard wounds as well, to increase her defense. I'm not sure if it's a female bird or not, but I assume it's a female bird. But, either way, the, the defense is going to help her survive longer. So my mom's is better, it's stronger too. What's happening here? Well, evil monsters are around. Okay, so Windshot hits everybody a little bit, which is good. Resurger, you can hopefully take out that enemy. Cut him down. See how much, these guys have a lot of health. Let's just do a resurge, or sorry, a piece to Get her back up to full health. Double cover, enough, some health between, but it's always enough good to top that off if it's totally free. Um, this is all wind creatures, it's kind of nice. So work them down a little bit. Peace. I guess just hit this guy at the end. Pretty much a guaranteed kill. <laughs> if it if it was any two other creatures frozen, I'd possibly do something about it, but well I guess not really any other. I just need Konami not to be frozen, but now we have all these <laughs> continuous damage stacks and I can't clear them off. Because the character that clears them off has been frozen. So a death, it's a water death knight. That's, careful, watch out. So it's a little straightening. Um, could I have to get rid of him? Go for a wind shot. We pretty much wanted to try to kill. I'm not sure that's what those abilities do. Just go tell it. Oh shit, didn't want to do that. Do that all the time, try to click on those abilities and then end up attacking something I didn't want to attack. But no, this character is probably not gonna let us beat him. And if I was smart and saved that character, I would have been able to continue on. But as an idiot, <laughs> I'm wasted it. We'll see if a different one of our characters can beat it. Don't really want to spend 10 and revive. But we do want to check this magic shop now. Mystical scroll. So we can de I can definitely farm up that 40 in an hour because I have all my money for my challenges and my missions. So that won't be a big deal. Good way to get money is actually from clearing these, but I don't have one I really want at the moment. So we can just do some Talmar Desert runs. However, I want to do another run here. Because if I can clear it, it'll give me a really good amount of money as well. Aramagos might be good. That um, moves might just be what I need. I remember this creature being really powerful the last time I used it, so just gonna use her. Cause she can give invincibility to herself. And then they can take care of her and she can just keep hitting him. She hits for a lot of damage, so. Oh, weird. Don't know what's up with that. But give it another shot. What? Because it disconnected, it won't let me use that. Character to attack? 
Like, if that's so, this game's stupid. Try to go in. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So I guess we will try Ram and Ghost then. You don't have a layer skill. Yeah, I know. Because you won't let me use. <sighs> wonder if I restart the game if it helped. Probably would. Um, so I guess we'll end this episode here, guys. And we'll be back in the next episode for more. Thanks, guys. Later.